Patricia Gibson. In this debate today, which I think is a very important debate, and I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for Redcar for bringing this debate forward today. I am pleased that the Scottish Government continue to legislate on a, to improve animal welfare, and a consultation on offences and penalties under the Animal Health and Welfare Scotland Act 2006 is to be held in due course, because, of course, under devolution, animal welfare is the responsibility of the Scottish Parliament, and we have different laws governing that area from England and Wales. But of course, today what we have is, again, unusually a, a consensus on an issue, because we all agree that causing un it's completely unacceptable to cause an animal unnecessary suffering. The Scottish Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is unique among animal welfare charities in the United Kingdom because it is a reporting agency to the Crown Office. And this means that its investigators are authorised to enforce the Animal Health and Welfare Scotland Act 2006. The SSPCA helpline received 241,403 calls and their inspectors and animals rescue officers attended a record 80,944 incidents in 2015. We all know that the popularity of programmes such as Animal SOS, Dog Rescuers, Pet Rescue, Animal 999 and Animal Frontline, we all know that these programmes have raised public awareness of the issue of animal cruelty and neglect taking place right in the heart of our own communities. But we must continue to be mindful of the crime of animal cruelty, and it is a crime, a very serious crime, right in our neighbourhoods. Where we see neglect, we must continue to ensure laws protect animals from such treatment, and that these laws are fit for purpose. Sadly, there are too many cases, as reported by the SSPCA, where people simply don't know how to properly look after their pet. It seems that there are large numbers of well-intentioned people welcoming pets into their homes, but are simply unable or unequal to the task of giving them the care they need. And this tells us that there's a job of public education and information that needs to be undertaken so that potential pet owners are well acquainted with the full responsibility having a pet places on their shoulders. But where we find willful cruelty, and unfortunately we do find it, we must take this extremely seriously. As we've heard today, we know there is a connection between the willful mistreatment of animals and the violence and mistreatment of fellow citizens and domestic violence. That, as well as protecting animals, should give us pause for thought. I am ashamed and disturbed to learn that the SSPCA has reported cases of, and I quote, unimaginable cruelty. And I honestly do not believe that a life ban from owning a pet is sufficient censure for such behaviour towards a helpless animal. We have plenty of evidence that such cruelty is a precursor, has a clear link with violence against other people. Fines and community service orders do not offer enough of a punishment or deterrence against such behaviour. Cases such as deliberately starving an animal to death, knowingly locking an animal in the boot of a car in soaring temperatures in the full knowledge and understanding it will not survive such treatment must surely be eligible for some custodial sentence. When it comes to preventing cruelty to animals, we must all be vigilant. We are the ears and eyes of the agencies who seek to work to prevent cruelty to animals and challenge it where it takes place. We all have a responsibility to report cruelty or neglect wherever we find it. And our courts across the United Kingdom must send out a clear signal that willful cruelty to animals will not be tolerated and will be taken, ex taken extremely seriously. And custodial sentence should be harsher. And there must be greater penalties imposed on offenders for those guilty, found guilty of willful cruelty and currently seems to be the case. We are a nation of animal lovers, and our courts need to reflect that. And I'm very interested to hear what the Minister has to say about harsher penalties being set out for some of the worst examples of willful cruelty to pets in his response.